Let's Talk Arts and Entertainment on WMAY. Lots of stuff going on um, still this weekend. You got Pride Fest coming up. That is going to be this weekend virtually, uh, and you can watch that through UIS's website, their studio theater. Uh, talking with me about that from the Phoenix Center is Jonna Cooley. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Good. Uh, so so um, Pride Fest is coming up this weekend, and uh, recently, just um, just yesterday, you uh, uh, you and um, Jim Leach, uh, the newsroom, talked about, uh, well, he, he actually moderated a forum for you guys that's going to be a part of Pride Fest. So what was that? Uh, what was that all about? Right. Um, so part of Pride Fest is um, interviews that are uh, on topics that are important to the LGBT community. And so Jim came out and moderated a panel that was on the 20th anniversary of the Phoenix Center. So that involved Roy Pyers, who was one of the young people who helped get Phoenix Center started um, and was there when it became a not-for-profit. And then uh, myself uh, as the current director for the past 15 years. Um, and then uh, Gail Wasmer, who um, is a former board member. And then she also is the mother of a transgender daughter and she runs our transparent uh, support group. And so Jim just talked to all of us about the Phoenix Center and how it's changed over the years and why it's important and things like that. Great. Sounds like a good discussion and mm -hmm. you guys will be able to watch that um, this coming Saturday. Um, so uh, if we can, if we can just uh, recap a little bit since the last time I talked to you, what sort of things can people expect to see and possibly participate in this Saturday virtually? Yes. So um, the event is virtual, all of it. I, I keep getting a lot of, emails and calls about getting tickets and things like that. Everything about Pride Fest this year is virtual. So you can tune in and watch it on your computer, uh, on your phone, whatever, and it'll be streaming at uispac.com. And um, the festivities start at, at one o'clock Saturday, and um, there'll be various things going on throughout the afternoon. There'll be the interviews, uh, that we that we uh, have um, uh, scheduled uh, with various topics, like I said, uh, the, the panel on Phoenix Center's anniversary. Um, Dr. Kariana Brenham is on talking about the new um, gender equity clinic that SIU is opening. Um, we have some kids crafts. Um, there's going to be some cameos from celebrities um, that do, are doing shout outs for uh, the event. There'll be um, some local folks doing shout outs. Um, and then the, the band Thornhill uh, will play in different segments throughout the day. And then um, at five o'clock, we will um, make the announcement of all the prize winners for the kids um, art, or I'm sorry, the kids coloring and scavenger hunt, the teen art and poetry contest and the and then the um, adorable selfie contest. So those uh, winners will all be announced. And then at 5.30, from 5.30 to 7, is the drag show. And that will feature six um, performers from the Central Illinois area, and uh, that's going to be a lot of fun. So uh, that's pretty much how the day is going to run. Like I said, it'll start at 1, and it ends at 7 p.m., and all kinds of stuff throughout the day. That's good. That's going to be wonderful. Lots of things going on. That drag show starting about, like you said, five thirty there. So, um, so also with that, um, with that adorable contest, um, the adorable with the doors. It's a, that's that's great. So I want to, um, so people can still participate in that. Yes, people are can still go around town and, um, and uh, in case uh, people uh, don't remember or don't know if they're listening to this, uh, what is the adorable contest and how can they get involved with it? The adorable contest, um, it ended on May 7th, so it's no longer available. Okay. All, the con all the contests wrapped up on the 7th, but the adorable contest was um, six pride colored doors that we put up around Springfield, and then uh, they were each sponsored by a different um, area organization or business. And then um, we gave out clues as to the location of the doors. If you saw, you know, solved the clue, you took your picture in front of the door, you submitted it for every door you sent in. Um, your name goes into a drawing, and that drawing will be live uh, on Saturday uh, at five o'clock. Great. All right. Well, we'll figure. We'll, we'll see that all play out then. So, so Pride Fest is this Saturday. 
It starts at 1, and you can watch it virtually through UISPAC.com, and, um, and uh, you can watch throughout the day uh, and keep informed and everything going on there. Uh, so uh, I'm sure much of... Uh, much of uh, your and everybody's time there at the Phoenix Center is uh, focused on uh, getting this uh, this event this weekend. But uh, you know, what's uh, I guess if I can ask, what's next? Do you guys have anything planned uh, uh, going forward um, in the in the coming months, or you just want to get through this weekend first? <laughs> well, I definitely want to get through the weekend, but um, <laughs> we are hoping to be able to have our annual fall gala in person this year. It's in October, and it's our our big fall fundraiser event and uh, allows people to get together and it's a, a dinner and live and silent auction. So we're hoping we can do that. As far as the summer's concerned, we've got all kinds of stuff planned um, at the Phoenix Center. We um, are planning to do a lot of outreach where we can be out in the community offering our services. We're also um, one of the agencies that was funded with the Pandemic Health Navigation Grant. So we're going to be helping to facilitate uh, some um, COVID vaccination clinics. Um, we have one at the Phoenix Center in June, um, and there'll be other ones uh, throughout the summer. We're also helping people who um, are in different ways affected by COVID. We've got uh, funding where we can help people if you're home and you are uh, and you have tested positive and you need resources, you can contact us and we will be able to assist you. Um, and then hopefully, you know, just offering our, our services and and continuing to, um, you know, provide whatever we can to not only the LGBT community, but the Springfield community um, in terms of HIV and hep C testing as well. Great. That's awesome. So, so all that going on. But in the meantime, this Saturday, you can watch Pride Fest be a part of it, 1 to 7, streaming through UISPAC.com. Jonathan, thank you so much for joining me, and I'm sure we'll do this again sometime. All right. Thanks for having me. Take care. Thank you. Thank you. Happy so Pride. To... Oh, what's up? I said happy Pride. Oh, happy Pride. Yes, happy Pride. <laughs> Let's talk arts and entertainment on WMAY.